Welcome to the world of Cool Attic. Congratulations on your purchase of a roof mount Cool Attic power ventilator. The goal of this video is to make the installation of your new Cool Attic power ventilator fun and easy. Study the video along with your Cool Attic power ventilator instruction booklet and enjoy maximum money-saving comfort performance levels. Cool Attic offers a selection of top quality American-made ventilators. This video will address the installation and variation of our models 3000 EE, 2001 and 1000. Although each model offers specific features physically, they require the same installation elements. Any job goes faster if you have the right tools. So before you start, gather the necessary tools. You will need a hammer, drill, one quarter inch bit or a one half inch or larger wood boring bit, saber or keyhole saw, screwdriver, tape measure or ruler, pencil or marker, and a utility knife. Your safety equipment should include a pair of safety glasses and dust mask. You will need to purchase a few inexpensive supplies from the store where you purchased your cool attic ventilator. These include two number eight wood screws and 16 roofing nails and sufficient wiring such as 12-2 with ground for your electrical hookup. Remember to check your local fire and electrical codes before purchasing the wiring. The store can help you determine this. To help rainproof your installation, use a non-hardening roof compound between the flange and shingles. We will show you how to do this a little later. The major part of your installation will be done on the roof. Select a strong extension ladder and position it so you have access to your chosen area. Follow carefully all the rules for use set out by the ladder manufacturer. Misuse of a ladder can result in injury. Now that you have everything required, let's get started. Your cool attic ventilator is carefully packed at the factory to assure that it arrives in excellent condition. Open the box and remove the unit. Before moving your new cool attic ventilator to the installation site, examine it carefully. On the carton, you will find a handy template. Cut the template out and bring it along with your other tools when you go up on the roof. The location of your cool attic ventilator is very important. Working in the attic is uncomfortable, but this quick step will assure that your unit is properly placed. Measure between two rafters in the approximate center of the roof and just below the ridge line, approximately 20 inches down. Remember, your unit has a 17 inch circumference. Now, mark the center between the rafters and drill a quarter inch hole or drive a nail through so that you have an outside reference mark. Locate the reference hole you drilled from the inside. Place the center of your template on the hole and scribe a mark on the shingles. You should now have a 17 inch circle. With your sharp utility knife, cut through the shingles following carefully your scribe mark. Remove the loose debris and clear your work area. You should see either roofing paper or board. Place the template back over the guide hole, and this time draw a 14 and a half inch circle on the paper or roofing board. Drill a one quarter inch hole or larger to accommodate your saber or keyhole saw. Take your time and make a smooth cut along the line until you create a clean opening. Be sure to catch the cutout so it won't damage the ceiling below. Center your ventilator over the opening and allow the thermostat to fall through the opening into the attic. Lift the bottom edge of the ventilator to visually check the alignment over the hole. Now that you know the exact positioning, place alignment marks at the bottom corners of the ventilator. These will serve as reference marks for the next steps. This next step may require you to remove a few nails, so have your hammer handy. Before you proceed, Check the shingles around the opening to determine the location of nails that might interfere when you slide your ventilator flange into place. Remove the ones that do. Hard to reach nails may require the use of a nail bar. Note the area where you wish to apply the roofing compound. Remove the ventilator once more 
and apply an appropriate amount of roofing compound. Using light pressure, bend the shingles back to allow a smooth fit along the upper edge of ventilator base. Do not use a hop mop application except for the all metal units. Use four roofing nails per side and nail in place. Apply roofing compound to the nail heads to prevent leaks. This will complete your exterior installation. Locate a spot on a rafter to secure your thermostat. Be sure to keep the thermostat in the airflow. Use two number eight screws to fasten it to the rafter. Do not hammer nails through the control box as this can damage the thermostat. In your companion instruction manual, you will find, under step 13, a wiring diagram of the thermally protected 115-volt electric motor. Study this diagram before you attempt to wire the thermostat and motor to the power source. First, shut off the power supply line to be used for the ventilator. Thoroughly study the wiring diagram in step 13. The wiring must be in compliance with local codes, ordinance, and national electrical codes. Pull the wires through the thermostat box and connect the ground wire to the green ground screw in the box. Then connect either black wire of the thermostat to the black wire on the power source. Connect the other black wire on the thermostat to the black wire from the motor. The white wire from your source should connect to the white wire from your motor. Replace the thermostat cover and make sure it is secure. If you are unfamiliar with wiring methods, Secure the services of a qualified electrician. The thermostat will activate the fan from 15 degrees above the setting at which it is positioned. The suggested setting is 85 degrees. The fan will start automatically. It will then turn off when the temperature reaches the setting, 85 degrees in this case. It is simple to check your thermostat when the temperature is less than 100 degrees. Hold a light bulb next to the thermostat to elevate the temperature and the fan will activate. Don't use a lighter or any other open flame. Congratulations on an installation well done. It's time to sit back and enjoy the many benefits of your cool attic ventilator. The cool way to save energy dollars. <laughs>